I'm barely able to eat, you know, and uh, when that hit me, it made it worse. Earl Lane was desperate to find a way to keep his home after his circumstances quickly changed. It's not, it's not much, but it's the only place we got. Lane's modest home in Southeast Hannibal was paid for, but he and his former fiance took out a second mortgage on his house to pay for the property next door. They planned to share the payment. When the relationship ended, the mortgage payment landed on him. Unable to work and living on less than $700 a month in disability payments, the mortgage fell behind. Anybody can be in the same position. I'm not in a position or should anybody be in a position of judging who deserves help or and who doesn't deserve help. Even though this isn't typical, NECAG was able to come up with emergency money funded by a United Way grant. That money allowed them to get Lane's mortgage up to date. NECAC was uh, our savior and came along and helped. Uh, he had spoken to his mortgage company and asked for some assistance before talking with us. They were not un unable to do anything significant for him. Uh, they were requiring him to pay whatever he could, any little extra every month to try to bring that mortgage current. So $25 to $50 a month he was taking out of his food budget. His debt is not gone, but he will be able to stay in his home and make more manageable payments. It'll help a lot. I'll be able to eat. I'll have Thanksgiving hope. Unfortunately, some homeowners choose not to seek help they desperately need to keep their homes. Pride, unfortunately, is too big a factor for too many of our clients, not just people who are faced with foreclosure. Uh, pride is a big factor in just coming and saying, hey, I need help. For those who do seek help, NECAC has a 60 to 70 percent rate of keeping homeowners in their home. Chrissy Mueller, KHQA News, Hannibal.